Hi everyone, welcome to Nate's Studio Desk, the place where you can come ask questions and get helpful advice. Akash asked me how to make this crazy airport. So I'm gonna go over how, to, how I would approach this project, not construct it one for one, but how to think about approaching uh, constructing this crazy shape using some really cool, easy tools in Rhino that you can apply to many projects. So let's get into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and ask me if you have any questions or other videos you would like to see. Thank you, let's get into it. So this is the airport here. Um, there's a lot of ways you could go about constructing this, but I really wanna use this opportunity to present two really cool tools um, for you today. All right, so I'm actually just gonna come over here and just drag the file into Rhino, um, choose picture, and then you can choose how big you want it. Um, you could get it to scale if you want, uh, estimate the size of one of these wings. You know, maybe it's, for instance, 50 feet. Uh, I would just come in here. It's probably a lot larger than that. Maybe let's say like 75 feet, 75 feet. And then you have an airport that's uh, roughly the size. But again, we're not gonna model this one for one. Um, but I wanted to just go over two tools. So here we can just come in here. Understanding, so let's offset this. So I'm typing offset. I'm gonna go 20 feet. Then of course you can come in here and um, make those adjustments if you need. So you can always rebuild, which is kind of cool. Um, if you have too many points, you can just come in here and boom, voila, boom you get less points, uh, so it's a lot less tedious. And All right, so I'm realizing this curve, um, not really too realistic, um, but it'll give you the overall idea. Uh, and there is one more way that I think you can model this roof, but let's just go over this really quickly. So you have your profile curve and then you have your two rails. And so now you're gonna press sweep two and you're gonna click first rail, second rail, and then your section curve um, and hit that. Um, it's probably gonna do some funky things, honestly, um, but you can, you can rebuild these to get sort of different, different results, um, maintain height. Um, all right, so the action that I forgot was record history. So you, the only way that this tool works is you have to use it right before you use the command. So I'll type in, so you notice it has to be highlighted like that. So I'll press sweep to, first rail, second rail, and then the contour, and then press game new refit. How does that look on that edge? I think, yeah, because that's so low. Anyway, so then you press OK. So it's, what's, what's awesome about the record history is what it allows you to do is instead of going and editing your surface, you can come back and both edit your contours. So I'll come here. Once I edit a contour, and it does take a second to load, it's gonna edit the entire shape. So the shape is always live. And so, okay, so we got some, some weird errors here. It might be good to maintain a similar distance of where that curve is so that it doesn't get too distorted. Um, uh, you can just mess around with, um, you can always come back and you know, make these maybe a little bit less ex extreme. So that's basically how I would go about making 
uh, this roof. Another way which um, is probably in a way better because um, now when I'm looking at this roof, it actually just looks like a bunch of contours. And so the other thing you could do is let's take these two curves. But I really like that sweep to command and I also really like the record history. So I really wanted to show that. Um, instead of lot for actually going to use patch. That might work a little bit better. Patch. Patch is basically, it's similar, but you usually use it for more like topography. And that seems to be working a lot nicer. Whoops, sorry about that. Join. Now, so, you know, you could basically, um, and then do solid points on, no, points on. And then you can come in here. And, and so this would be the, the, I guess, option two, or maybe option one, you just create the shape, you create the form, then you come back, the loft, uh, sweep, sweep, First rail, second rail, cross section. So that's going to get us a better pointer surface. And then let's just join this all together. Now we have one solid shape. It's going to contour a lot better right now. And you can always um, adjust this. So solid point on, sorry, points on doesn't want to adjust it, but you can do stuff like control shift select. And if you select this blue thing, you come in here and you actually extrude it. Um, so you could control shift and then you just extrude. You could actually just extrude a bunch of uh, curves and you could get a similar tiered shape like that. I'm touring this shape. So let's get at the shape that you want as your airport. And then you contour it, foot contour, poly surface. This is gonna go crazy. So what I'm about to show is using similar tools, we're actually gonna go and we're gonna remember to hit record history and then loft these rebuild fit within you know whatever there we go that's much better so you definitely need to kind of finesse those options all right well i hope that was helpful um there's lots of different ways to go about building this uh basically we went over creating contours and controlling those as a way of manipulating the roof um and all and and using the record history function and then the other method would be um, actually coming in and just doing planar surface, planar surface, and extruding those 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 surfaces and, and having this tiered up uh, roof. You can come in and you can loft the surface and manipulate it within that, um, or you can come and you can contour it um, and adjust the contours to get the type of shape that you want. Um, you know, for instance, if we adjusted one of these contours, you know, up or something, you know, then it, then it's going to correspond. And then, um, you know, let's say we, we move this one up. Um, it's going to have that sort of ribbony effect. If you sort of lay it out in a more flat way like that one. Cool. Well, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you want to see any more videos. And I'll uh, see you later.